Friends, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do anamorphic video if, if you've shot in 16.9. Typical, I, I'm working with 4K now. Uh, typical 4K, that's going to be like 3840 by 2160. So your video is 3840 this way, 2160 this way. And this is some video I shot with the anamorphic lens from Sandmark. You can see it's squashed in. It's narrow. This car is not that tall and it doesn't look natural. And so I've done a couple different, a couple different ways we could do this here. So I've got a, um, a, uh, a sequence here that I've pulled in or created in Premiere. And you can see here it is 3840 by 2160. Maybe you want to have a bit of just regular video like, like I had here of myself doing a, um, let's just, let's go ahead and just go ahead and change this, this change sequence setting. So now we know that this is a, 3840 by 2160, and I've got myself in here doing a bit of talking. Let's say you want to have some video like this, but then you want to include some anamorphic video in there with it. And so it's two different things I'm going to show you. We're going to do a regular old standard one that has the letterbox, the black cutouts. Then we're going to do a one that is just pure anamorphic video. So I'm going to go down here. It uh, looks like I've got a piece of video selected, which is 3018. We'll remember that. I'll pull it down here. And so here is our video that is too tall. Now the width is perfect. You know, the width is, when I shot it, it is, as you, you can see down here, when I go to, what is it, 3018? Let's go to 3018. That is 3840 by 2160 video. Now, I've already done the math to figure out the ratio here. The ratio for anamorphic video is instead of a 16.9, it's 2.35 to 1. So I did the math to figure out what would the ratio be, the height ratio, if we left this thing at, uh, at tw excuse me, at uh, 3840 wide. So this is its native width. I'm clicked on here. I'm going to go to the effects control over here. I'm going to hit scale, twirl it down, and I'm going to not do uniform scale. I'm going to uncheck that. And so the magic number is roughly 76%. Now this may, so somebody may, some purist may say, oh, it's 75.84% or something like that, but I'm telling you 76% works. So if I do 76 height, then that is the true pixel aspect. And that's, this is if you don't mind having the letterbox look, the black on the top and the bottom. So let's say you actually want real anamorphic video. So I'm gonna say File, New, Sequence. And I have made myself a, uh, a, a, um, a preset down here. How did I make this preset? And this is the size 3840 by 1634. That would be your anamorphic size if you're working with 3840 wide. And of course, if you're shooting wider video than that, it's me, it's me, I'm shooting with an iPhone, and typically that's the widest I can get is 3840. And then 1634, not 2160, would be my uh, height. How did I get this, this, uh, this custom one that I did here? I went to the Red 3. And I went and I picked a 4K uh, video. Why did I go to red? For some reason, the presets are in red. And these red settings, Premiere allows me to go ahead and edit these. So I went, it's a lot of the other ones that don't let you edit them. I, it doesn't even, they're all grayed out where you can't do it. But I get one here to 4K 23, see I'm shooting at 23, 4, 9, 7, 6, which is four, you know, 24 frames per second. I'm going to go to settings up here at the top, and instead of being 4096 by 2304, I'm going to change that to 3840, 3840. And as I said, the, the, quite the aspect that we want is 1634, that's the pixel size, 1634. Okay, now you can go down here and you can see this looks wrong down here. Uh, this is just for video preview, so don't worry about this. Everything's going to be okay when you go to uh, to bring this video in. I'm going to say okay. Uh, well, well, actually, first thing I did, I did save the preset. I hit the save preset, and then I can give it a name. So I already have my preset made, but that's how you give yours. Let's say we call this 4K. We'll do another one, 4K uh, anamorphic. And we'll say... Um, 3840x1634. Uh, okay. Okay. And so now down here it's going to give me a new preset that I'll be able to use in the future if I ever want to do anamorphic video. And there it is. See, I already have one copy. This, this one will be identical to it, but there we go. That just shows you how I did it. So we'll say okay. 
So I've got this sequence now that is set up that way. So the video that I had a while ago was, what was it, 18? That is it. So let's pull that video over here and we'll see, uh, first of all, let's keep existing settings. And here again, we'll see that, that it's, it's just too tall looking, right? Well, we haven't done anything to change the video yet. We've just pulled our regular old 3840-2160 video in. Let's just do not do that this time. Here's another way you can do this. You can right click on the video, you can go to modify, you can do interpret footage, and then you could go to, rather than use square pixels, you could conform to, and you can go to, and I know it says 1080 here, but it still leaves your video big and wide, and it doesn't change your resolution. But this is your 1.33 anamorphic, okay, and hit that. And now when you pull this down in here, and we'll, we'll say keep existing settings, and it works. So I've brought this footage in here. So is this a true anamorphic? Still, you're gonna to have to go over here to scale. And this time, you don't have to click uniform scale. You can just go 76, or 75, I think, even works. There might be just the tiniest little bit of black if you do 75, that's why I've been going 76. And then you're pretty much spot on, my friends. And so, so, and if we want to like do a whole bunch of video, like I've already interpreted a bunch of this video, I'm gonna click here, down to here, and we're gonna do file, we're gonna do modify, interpret footage. We are gonna make sure, okay, this is, this is all going to uh, HD anamorphic 1080 1.33. So if I bring all this new video in here now like this, this is all gonna be interpreted correctly, but it is still gonna to have to be sized down to 76%. Now since this one here is already 76%, I could go do individually each one of these, but I can just click on motion there and see I still got my 76% uniform scale. If I click on motion, do command C to copy, then I can highlight all of these. We'll watch it happen. So here's the video, now I'm going to paste the new aspect on there. And now every bit of this is sized properly, anamorphic video, inside an anamorphic frame with no letterbox. So that's the way I would uh, edit either ones of these pieces of video. If you like the letterbox, the black at the bo bottom and top, you can do that, that's fine. Otherwise, you'll just have really nice uh, anamorphic video and it's, uh, it fits just properly into the frame. Like I say, it might be just a, a smidgen off by Hollywood standards. I'm not sure. I just did my math by figuring out the uh, 2.35 to 1 ratio. Hope this helps somebody. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.